good good afternoon, uh, everyone. Um, uh, thanks, you know, real to invite me to participate in this webinar. Uh, I'm going to talk, you know, about the historical, you know, uh, tragic tragic, uh, tragic uh, terrain and the development of China non timber forest products, uh, as well as experience gain, you know, lesson learned, a challenge place, and and the way forward. You know, that's my in the topic. It's a little bit different with, you know, uh, you know, I think the real professor will want to uh, talk, but it's very much related. You know, uh, after, you know, reform and opening uh, uh, up to, you know, at the 1990s, 1980s, China forest sector has in, imported a state of, state of you know, uh, the concept, knowledge, and ideologies for forest management, such as non timber forest products. However, however, China Forest Authority has traditionally focused on wood production. I think it's similar to any other, you know, uh, other you know, countries. Since the beginning of this century, the, 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 the Forest Authority has placed ecological protection as its uh, main, a main goal. Uh, but non timber forest products have never been cited in a central government official policy document before, you know, before 2000. Also, non timber forest products have not been cited directly. Similar you know, terminology has been used in China's forest authority policy documents, such as you know, forest byproducts, uh, forest byproducts, you know, we call forest sideline uh, products or under, under planting economy or payment for uh, uh, ecological production. Uh, 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 you know, called Lingxia Jinji. I'm not sure. You know, Lingxia Jinji. Uh, 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 Lingfu uh, 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 uh,
turned oil was planned in a large scale. And the turned oil uh, was widely used in the production of turned oil commodity. At the end of the Qing Dynasty, turned oil was recognized by international market, such as Japan, Britain, and the United States. And turned oil was exported to the world. That's the new end. A traditional turned oil used for the furniture, for furniture, the food to on the left show that it takes Chinese food as the uh, background color, and there's not a uh, reason and a reason why, you know, that's uh, the tan oil, uh, the, the two and the three uh, cut a pen, you know, or one, or one, two, three, uh, you know, you see the color is different. And the color is become, you know, actually you see the photo color become uh, brighter and brighter. Tan oil can prevent uh, corrosion and the warmth. And the picture that the top right is existing traditional pressing uh, process. The lower right photo shows tan oil furniture. You know, it's quite, quite, quite beautiful. And and also uh, another traditional use of the tan oil is make umbrella. Umbrella, you know, the photo on the right, the top right, uh, depict umbrella making. Uh, how to make it the umbrella? We see tan oil. And the bottom left is a traditional tan oil umbrella. It's a dark color. Uh, the umbrella base was made of bamboo. It was very uh, bulky and uh, inconvenient carry, carry, quite heavy, you know. The ancient and modern umbrella is of tan oil on the top right is re replaced by the matter. Uh, and the color is replaced by light and thin, fine imitation colors. Uh, recently, many manufacturers have developed fashionable tan oil color umbrella and changed umbrella color into colored clothes, like the, you know, the bottom, uh, you know, uh, uh, left, see. And umbrella manufacture actual technology has been re replaced by the light, small, and portable umbrellas actually uh, that is in invented by the Japanese. But tan oil has maintained its variety and it is for the natural tradition and, in and environment friendly. Another one, you know, is resin, resin. Uh, the use of resin for lighting can be traced back, you know, and at the Tang Dynasty, about uh, 150, uh, 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 1,500 years ago. However, resin uh, as important industrial raw material began in early 20th centuries. It can be seen as a future uh, figure that the resin collection requires modern technology. And under the techno uh, technique requirement for pine pr uh, pr uh, plantation management, and the raisin uh, collection are relatively high. And raisin can be used for the paper making, uh, food, printing, uh, comestic, and other industries, quite, quite useful. Uh, another story is, 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 is Gingu. Gingu is also, uh, quite an interesting story. Gingu broba is a native species uh, in China. It is now cut, I think, over the world and it commonly in the parks. Jingu broba and also has a long uh, culti cultivation histories in China, and there are more than 100 years of cultivated trees. That beautiful golden color tree can often be seen in China. I think in Japan and in Korea too. And the fruit, uh, the fruit of the jingu uh, broba is delicious, and the leaf has a spiritual meaning, uh, spiritual meaning as the form of the shape of hand fan, like you know the, the hand fan. Since China joined the W2 at the beginning of this century, uh, uh, Pama, uh, uh, you know, medicine industry factory in France and, and Germany has brought jingle broba leaf everywhere in China. They, 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 and they, and they, and they, and they, and they use that the raw material for producing, you know, the raw material for kind of medicine. It's a quite expensive medicine too, you know. In 2005, the China uh, built, you know, uh, jingu leaf extraction and processing plant all around the Yangtze River, create a larger um, area of, of the jingu plantation. Many enterprise clo uh, closed down actually after they are is, is built because it's too, too much supply. Uh, uh, because the price of the extraction uh, purchased by French and Germany manufacturer fall down sharply. Uh, some uh, enterprise, you know, uh, turned to develop jingu proper leaf Tea as other processing, you know, uh, drinks, which has formed the certain market in China now. Actually, in China, quite 
uh, in the fashion to to eat this uh, you know uh, the 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 jingu broa leaves and and the, and the uh, canopy economy was first highlighted in a policy document of forest authority in 2012 uh, due to implementation of collective forest uh, forest tenure reform uh, collective forest was privatized but there are poor economic incentive to management uh, collective forest then the forest authority in act the policy instrument and attempt to promote economic activity and the forest this activity include farming you know uh, or animal raising and the forest collecting or ecotourism to some extent and the canopy economy is much closer to a forest based agroforestry or chatting use of uh, uh, what stuff and promoting ecological uh, ecotourism i'll show some photos you know that is a uh, you know forest based uh, and also, you know, uh, the, uh, some practice, agroforest practice. And the payment for ecological products, that's a very new term. It's a, you know, very new policy, you know, terminology highlight in the very top level Chinese policy document. The term is much similar to the bioeconomy in terms of connotation. So far, we do not know, actually, we do not know, you know, uh, what will happen on the ground and how uh, sector related to the ecological service, including forestry, marine, wetland, and grassland, will come to implement in this, uh, you know, ideology. I don't know what will happen anyway. You know, the term is categorized by systematic, holistic, and integrated, and hard to end up with the you know practice on managing forests. Uh, uh, no uh, wood products, a forest product uh, would be part of it. You know now. Uh, and it gives individuals, private sector, and non-government organization the imaginary state space, which need local government to find a pragmatic approach to coordinate all sectors. Uh, and the uh, and you, you actually want to categorize, you know, non-timber program. There is four categories, according to my understanding, the non-timber pro, uh, non-timber products collected from natural forest or collected from plantation or the forest service, you know, the forest spirit to cultural heritage values. And then I, I try to make it, you know, in a, in a, in a, that way, you know, I think, you know, uh, the forest sideline protest focused on collecting the harvest from natural forests and the plantations. The under, uh, under uh, canopy economy focused on collecting the harvest from plantation, not from natural forest, but has made the mandate focus on the collection from natural forest, lead to focus on the forest ecological service. And the payment for environment service, you know, uh, ecological products actually include all these uh, categories. China is rich, actually, you know, if we summarize, China is rich in non timber forest products, but the development utilization non timber forest has a long history. Uh, non timber forest products still play an important role in natural economy, and the forest sector, you know, forest sector has traditionally focused on wood products. And since this century, the forest sector has placed ecological protection as main goal. The Forest Authority highlight and, and the underground economy for support logging, logging ban on natural forests and the implementation of collective forest tenure reform in the policy agenda. And, the, and the, as for the implementation uh, of ecological civilization, a sort of ideology for national priority development, payment for environment products, ecological products was put forward in national labor you know, policy document. And the China Nantima Forest policy, uh, pro, uh, policy directed attached to imp great important production, expanding the production capacity of products and the production efficiency per unit area. The under canopy economy has become a main policy proposition in, of forest development, which reflects the idea of, and the push it to extreme, actually. The process marketing and the value chain of most Nantima Forest products in China was developed affect by the safe efficiency economy. The great majority of non-timber forest products still stay uh, you know, in a production link, uh, link and rely on self-sufficient exchange gift uh, in, in, in informal market. The value of non-timber forest products in China economy is seriously underestimated. The market was played a decision role, I think, you know, in the development of market, uh, China non-timber forest products. And I, I have some suggestion for you know further China you know Nantima forest products. First one is empower the traditional community institutions and enhance the financial support which may be required to develop Nantima forest products. The secondly, you know, uh, uh, 
appreciate not the normative framework uh, need to be developed, including that our national legislation and the policy document recognize non-timber forest in a standard, in a standards, you know, develop a standard, a standards of non-timber forest products. And uh, certainly recognize, you know, the importance of traditional knowledge and promote the integration of science and technology, uh, you know, a traditional science and a traditional forest knowledge. The, 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 the force, you know, but, but, but I think it's not the last, you know, uh, the strength, you know, uh, the voice of the local people in policy process and enhance the decentralization process. Thank you very much. That's some, uh, welcome your question if you, if you have.